Okay, hi, welcome, welcome back. And before we get into today's video, we actually have a little unboxing to do, which is really, really exciting. So I have a box here. I also have scissors because I need to cut into it. Is that okay? I think that's okay. This, this is the box. It was very packaged very well, which I actually really like. Aurora is there, but. Little ASMR. <laughs> this is what we're here for though. This is the Hex Gaming. Let me actually just get out. So Hex Gamer reached out very, very kindly and offered to send me one of their controllers. They said I could choose anyone. And I went with the Advance with Flash Shop Brown Kitty, which is actually one of the new ones that they bought out, which I just think is very fitting. I have two cats, Dionysus and Aurora. D Aurora, which you just saw, Dionysus, who is actually, you'll probably see more because Aurora is very camera shy. I love controllers. Controllers and headsets, I get so happy over them. My dad's like, why do you need another headset? And I'm like, because I love collecting them. I'm very excited to see how this looks. There is a pink version of this, but I went with the brown one because I'm more into warm colors, I think and very autumnal colors, but let's see. So here's the controller. We have the Hex Gaming Advanced Controller Quick Start Guide, which I'm actually gonna mainly, well, I'm gonna use this on PC, especially since we're gonna be playing through the Batman DLC soon, and also obviously continuing with The Walking Dead. But there are also the thumbsticks, which is flipped for you because I have my camera flipped because I don't like myself the other way around. But it says find your thumbsticks here, which is actually really, really neat. I might end up turning down my lights just ever so slightly. But here are the thumbsticks. Are there any on there? I don't know. Let me check. Let's see first. I love getting controllers. Oh, there are none on there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And it's actually glossy. That's so pretty. Oh no, there are on there. Okay. Oh my god. And I didn't even I didn't even see this. It has like a really pretty wooden finish, which I don't like honey woods. I much prefer these types of woods. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even see the buttons are like with the same wood as well. That is so pretty. Wow. And that actually feels really nice. It also has the adjustable. No, what are they? They are extra like buttons on the back and then it has batteries and you can also connect it. I actually just bought batteries. So it's good that I did that. Look at that. I love the like the glossiness to it and the cat. It's so cute. I actually love how this looks so much. The buttons feel really nice as well. I'm so in love with this. I'm so very dark. This is the back of it. You have the USB-C? Yes. USB USB type C, yes. I love the wooden finish. I love like the warm colors with this. I think it looks so pretty. It looks so cute. The cats on it are absolutely adorable. I love cats. I love dogs too. I love all animals, but I obviously have cats. So I thought it was fitting to get a cat controller and it genuinely just looks so pretty. It really, really does. I'm so happy with how it looks. I can't wait to use this for the controller. Thank you so much, Hex Gaming. Sending it out for me to use. I'm so excited to use these in my playthroughs. Okay, hi, welcome, welcome back to some more of The Walking Dead. We are on episode four. I know it says episode three, but we're on episode four around, oh, that's scary. A lot happened last time. It was an, a very emotional episode. Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? <laughs> I still, the fact that it was bent all along, I called it. Figure out what to do with you. I called it. I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit, she's stealing the RV. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. We all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get into Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here, and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... The fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we 
find out. Yeah, a lot happened. A lot. The game series adapts to the choices you make, the story is tailored by how you play. Very much so. Telltale Games presents... An association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. Oh, I can't believe we're in episode 4 already. I'm like wondering, should I... I don't want to mess up. I just want to kind of lower it a bit because I, I don't know. Deal with it. <laughs> Hmm. That's weird. Oh, I, oh, you could see the symbol on the door. Episode four, around every corner. Is she gonna hold our hand? Oh no. Oh, he's... Did we tell her about it? Just hold it? I'm feeling a lot of distrust going on. Um... Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? That don't sound too good. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Oh. Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought At least they're helping. Didn't work. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? They're not replying. Hmm. What well, maybe that? maybe listen to fuck with us? and Sounded get out of the street. Morning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Get out of the street. If someone told you to get out of the street, you get out of the street, whether you trust them or not. Get out of the street. Everybody, run! Where's Clementine? Hold hands. Hold her hands. Yes, Chuck. Kenny. Kenny. Oh, Little too close. Don't you think? Ben. No, Ben, help her. Oh my god. I'm I no! Chuck Get her the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you. You better not die on me, Chuck. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Now you get lost. I'll give me a fucking break. Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Ah! Shit, he's 
in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go now. Don't be shy. Just go. I'm glad it didn't make me choose because I would not have chosen the right option. <laughs> I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. I'm gonna talk to everyone. I can't believe Ben just left her like that. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? They're pretty slow, so hopefully not. Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. <laughs> they can't open doors. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time we're the cookies. Oh, Clementine. I'm gonna see about getting us inside the house. Oh, my nose. How's oh, she's sitting with them. I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside <laughs> manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go okay, we are your time. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, a dog. Looks like something was buried here. Just a dog house. The dog was buried there. Okay. I'm surprised he didn't make that connection. Hmm, a shovel. Thirsty enough to drink that yet. Then, about what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck. At least Katja. not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm going to go check things out. All right. I'm kind of surprised he wasn't harsh on Ben. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Doors locked up tight. Too heavy to force. What is that noise? A whole lot of noise? Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. Okay, so there's a wrench. No way we're going to force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. 
The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. The All shovel's right, so there. Where's the dog? So we dig up the dog. Oh my god. Telltale, this is evil. I hope you know that. This is actually evil. The shovel is never not useful. Oh my god. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, mm. I hear you. Well, what's buried down there? Maybe someone, cl like, close her eyes? Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to- Just do what I say, okay? Clementine feels hurt. Oh no, I just didn't want her to see this. I know she's seen worse, but... Oh god, the smell. You really never know what choices are gonna matter and what aren't. Of course they all matter, but not all can't get it off. speaking choices matter. Oh, oh my gee, god. That is not cool. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're- I said I'm fine, okay? Is she pregnant or bit? I'm calling one of it. Maybe. You know, just throw up for nothing. Are we gonna have to get- Babes, this way. Are we gonna have to get Clementine to go through the door? It goes nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. That's what I was hearing. What are you gonna do? Do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. You need to get Clementine. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem. Are you okay? Say something! Ta da! <laughs> good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I didn't want to. did good, right? Yes, you did. Not degrade. You did good. Can we reprimand maybe have this conversation her? inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. What about Chuck? Why is Omid so jittery compared to everyone else? Uh. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Babe? Oh, that... Their thing. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. It's been a day. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see. Yeah, but they wouldn't want us to get out of the way if they that rang the bell. Make a lick of damn to sense. Get them to us. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try yeah. to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. <laughs> the no dog, like the fun. dog in the portrait. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. 
Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. If there are even any boats there. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. Okay. All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. She's so cute. I love her. All empty. Mm. No Nothing. water. Water's off. Oh, dog. Oh, why do we want dog food? I don't think we want dog food. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Okay. Let's check the microwave. Or look at it, I guess, for whatever reason. No electricity either. No power. May dog, my dog Walter. <sighs> All cleaned out. Mm. So there's probably not a lot that we can find in here then, if the place has been cleaned out. At least that's what it looks like, anyway. I should finish checking the house before heading back. Oh, sorry. I thought we were checking to see if the door was locked. Must have stopped working a while ago. We have whiskey. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priority. <laughs> How's it coming? It's coming fine. Jeez. Looks Let me explore. Expensive. And heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. If it's expensive, no one would probably really want probably to. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. <laughs> stay frosty. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? Oh yeah. No, but I'll take care of it. Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure, but right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around. I'm on the edge. Kinney's son. glory. Just been through a lot, mm -hmm. that's all. Mm -hmm. I hope you're right. Mm -hmm. For all our sake. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Mm. To be fair, I do think Kenny is not doing too great, but then we would. Oh my. Oh yeah, what? Would you really That's expect him to? My style. After seeing his child and wife be killed. A bathroom. In here. Okay. Are we gonna find them? I feel like we're gonna find them. All clear in here. Just 
Just one more to check. I'll be more surprised if we don't find them than if we do. Okay, there's upstairs. That's the backyard door. Do we check this one? Jesus! What? What happened? Nothing. It's okay. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. <laughs> well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No. Uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. That could be used to disinfect it, though. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine. Honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? What? Lee, you need to get up here now. Why? What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny What's up with Kenny? He heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? Well, it's can't quiet. Get down. Stay here. I can't lose Kenny. I really don't want to lose Kenny. He's been with me since the beginning. He's the last one standing from the beginning, apart from Clementine. But st you, you get what I mean. I wonder if I could have gone upstairs before checking the last door then. Oh. Kenny, you okay, man? Jesus, what the hell is that? The bodies. Oh my God. Oh no. Kind of looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus oh. Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Before it was your own son. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. You can do this, Kenny. I don't want to like you always do it for this. him because no, I just he might not be able to do it himself if he needs to. Poor kid must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Should I check it? I can, I can do it for him if he wants me to. Maybe it's too soon. Just ran out of food, like we almost did. Like we still might. What a way to live. What a way to die. Here. This'll make it clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. It's okay. I'll take care of it. If he doesn't want to, I'm not going to force him to. Especially since it, it's only been like a day or two since he lost his own son. Oh. 
I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Where are the parents then? Oh. Why is he the only one that's here? Where... Where are his parents? I don't know if that was a good choice, having... choosing to do it myself, but... I, d I don't think he was ready to do it. And it didn't seem right forcing him to... when he just lost his own son. Oh, we're gonna bury him with his dog, though. Are there zombie dogs? I feel like this is for everyone who di we didn't get to bury. Imagine how Lee's feeling though. Everything he's done, everything he's had to do to protect everyone. And I feel like no one's really taken that into consideration. Who is that? Hey! Hey! Why are they dressed in a suit? Is that is that his parent? Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, He's what's going on? He was wearing a suit. That could have been his father. I saw someone standing there by the fence. There's no point in what why would we lie? Walker. No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? Was... I'm wondering if it's I'm the not... same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river well, and find ourselves Omid? a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move. Mead. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only check the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you want to. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat. But we need supplies. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place. I more said I'm done with this house. We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful. While me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. What? What hey, about Chuck? Hey, Mom? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. 
We need to focus on finding a boat right now, Claire. Like we talked about on the train, remember? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. I can't. Don't get me wrong. I can understand the so amount of anger Kenny here? has, but I'm sorry. I don't really trust you. That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear, while I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? What if it's Chuck? Good. You trust? You trusted Ben to look after Clementine. She needs all the protection she can get. Hmm. I don't know. I'm stressed. <laughs> East Bay Lincoln Street. Talk about it? About what? About what happened back there in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, river's we... right up ahead. Him keeping it all to himself Son is definitely. The bastard's fucking with us again. Making it's another him trap. Angrier. No, listen, that's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? Oh my gosh. I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> Interesting that some of them aren't as strong as others. Like that one has to crawl because it's not weak enough to walk. Still nothing moving behind us. Not strong enough I to walk, we're... I mean. Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Kenny man, I don't think so. Maybe we need to come up with a new plan. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. I just Screw had to you. stay a bit I longer. I ain't giving up that easy. It's so difficult because I can understand his anger and frustration, but then at the same time, it's like you're talking to a brick wall. Like, you can't live on that, though. This one might still be salvageable. But what are you gonna do? You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. <laughs> oh. It's just tricky. Oh my god. The walkers impaled? How did that even happen? Like, how would that... Did, people must have put them on there because 
I mean, unless it's like Mass Effect where they just sprout, sprout up from the bottom. What is this meant to be? Some kind of yeah, warning. Do something like this. Someone who probably wants to protect the town. I'm gonna shoot them. Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? I'm not about to shoot them and lure everyone to us. Jesus. <laughs> I've learned from that mistake. What the hell are these markings? all over the place I guess it's some sort of signal for everyone to interact with one another or like how people know things like some sort of communication method without full-on sp like spelling it out great needs a quarter to work do we still not have the coins from Larry damn built solid uh, quarter. Does Larry have one? Larry doesn't have one. Because he didn't have one last time, so there would be no reason he'd have one now. In the slaughterhouse when we needed it. Cash register, though. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Might be a good place to look for some change. Ugh. And then the thing about the above it, above above it. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Uh, where else would that be changed? I should probably stick close to Kenny. It's too dangerous out here. Huh. No change in the car? Really? Locked. Can we whack it open? We have a wrench. That was really loud. Air siphon, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. I bet someone got has a working boat and they've used used all the pieces from wreckages and cars to updo it, make it livable and stuff. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? Yeah. What the, what the hell is that? A warning sign, a barricade, uh, a lot of things, bodies. Yeah. <laughs> Abandoned. Every other place in this city. Plenty of docks, no boats. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. Oh my god. What the hell? What? Lara Croft? Get down! Get down! What are they doing? Why the hell are we hiding? Someone <laughs> came down from that building and- Why do you think we're hiding? <laughs> Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Oh, I don't, don't think he can her. see. How about we go find out? Come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well, it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. 
The one who's been messing with us? If he is, we can put an end to it. Right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We're not shooting Just want them. To talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Oh my god. What the? How did you get behind me? Oh no! Hmm, I don't reckon that's a good thing. Oh my monkey wrench! You gonna hack at me? Lenny! No. Penny, I mean. Not Lenny. Clem? Please don't hurt him! Why is she here? You're not from Crawford. From where? Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny. Kenny, no, it's not our guy! <laughs> no, he's with us! Look, I'm sorry about that. He, he's he gone through a lot recently, he just... And the gun said it. Oh my god! Who the hell are you people? Who the hell are you? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, no! No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? Not really, but I'm now interested. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So what are their we rules? We have a child. Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. What? Where's the Chuck? Idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival, they'll eat anything, alive or dead. <laughs> That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Mead started getting really sick. Kristen and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Um, really? Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains. That back. is true. Uh huh. Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. That must have been a dude from Crawford then. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with yeah. an advanced medical condition. 
Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world were to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. <laughs> That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, I mean kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave, along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? She Everyone was in, uh... in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. I thought she was gonna say she was in there, but she got out. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? We're looking for a boat! Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped him for parts. Cars, too. I said that! If there was, do you I think said I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron! You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before- Yeah, let's go. Right. Just right. Isn't that the- The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a- Run after her. And we can't do that though. Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. Rats. So what the hell are we supposed to do? I refer you to my previous answer. But you have to help us, please. You can't resist that face, come on. Come on, make it fast. How are we gonna get up? Come on! Come on, man. One good jump. Kenny! Hurry! Jump on the thing and jump up! Get your ass out of there! God, can't get it open. Why are we going in yeah, there? Use that to pry it open. Oh god. <laughs> Would they not just follow us in? Why are we going into the sewer? What did I say? Some the head. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Shit. Um. I feel like if you were leaning over that far, you'd just fall. Especially if you're dead. <laughs> Undead, I guess. Built solid. No way I can pry that open. Okay. That 
it's open there. I just feel like this is very dangerous. Like, do we even know if- I mean, it's a sewer system, there'd obviously be a way out, but... I don't know. All RE2 sewers and RE3 sewers, I know they're in the same game. Oh, dead rat! <gasps> sewer rats. Rats! Down here too. Not the rats. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. <laughs> Luckily, you're not in a Plague Tale Requiem. Um, but although, maybe this is worse. Actually, I, I don't know. No, no, no. Drainage pipe. Plague Tale is worse. Okay, drainage pipe. Plague Tale has to be worse because those one, a billion rats. Oh my god. Oh, this is horrifying. Oh, I feel sick. There's no way I could take on all of those things by myself. And we don't have our monkey wrench. Looks like some kind of drainage pipe. I just, I don't want to turn it without knowing, like, what way to turn it. Oh, we do have that though. But that's gonna be really loud. Looks like this is where the handle would go, but it's not here. Do we need to find a handle? Okay, that leads round into the same place. Oh, I feel so sick. Okay, and then that leads back to there. So we must, it must be, we must have to switch or move this handle. I just don't know what way I'm supposed to, like. It's a drainage pipe. Won't turn anymore in that direction. Okay, so we turn it the other way. Oh my god! Okay, that's lured them to there. Good thing I'm out here, and not in there. Hmm, seems loose. Shit. I need to take it off. There's someone there. There is someone there. How am I meant to I'm gonna get caught, am I not? Okay, what way do I turn it though? Oh, something's gonna happen. Okay, let's get back into the passage. And we'll wait for them all to pass. this one oh my God. Chuck Chuck you must have tried to hide out down here poor bad take his gun no bullets he must have saved the last one for himself oh he didn't want to turn you deserve better old man
How am I meant to defeat that one though? I guess we just hack her. <gasps> oh my god. Come on. Oh no, wait, no. Ha wait, how are the bullets in the gun? How will I, how are there, there were no bullets in the gun. I didn't even mean to do that. No, we need to use the ladder. We need to use the ladder. Oh my god, come on. I don't know where to put the ladder though. Wait. Looks like somebody saw the damn thing. Okay, maybe the door? I don't know. I didn't even mean to like do that. I don't know what to do. Where the hell do I go? What the hell? Lee. Oh. I didn't, I just, I, I instinctively pressed X. Which, it says it's A. Oh, I might have another chance at this. Okay. And we still have the bullet in the gun. Although, I don't feel like there should be a bullet in the gun. We tried that. I'll try this. What the hell? There's something behind it. Wait, can I pick up the... Oh, I still have it. It just went back in straight away. I don't know whether we should do that. Fallout shelter. Is there like a bunker then? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Wonder if someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Oh, so the food's still all good. <gasps> Hello. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. Uh, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Uh, which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. It's I'm not from Crawford. Down here. Are you from Crawford? No. Don't lie to me. I know. Say I have a child. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there. How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! I'm not gonna shoot Relax. you. I'm not here to hurt you. I wonder if they're from the radio. You're really not from Crawford? No, I'm really not. Well, uh, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or 
That's it. Vulnerable. I was trying to think of what you don't look that old, they are. But so vulnerable. You sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that oh. used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look. I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to I'm not going to gonna lie to them. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter too. Lost no, I feel days. like he's gonna get killed I'll be now. If I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. I feel like he's gonna get killed. He's not gonna make it back. What have I done? I'm splitting up groups left, right, and center. Oh my god. I mean, I'm glad I'm not going to be alone, but I just know he's going to die. Clementine? Oh. Clem? Where is she? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. That was actually Kenny. Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the Look, way. I just wanted to know where she was. I think you have something that belongs to me. Hi. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Not the... Oh, thank God. <laughs> Could you take a look at him? You're already here. You have Please. to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. I don't think he's going to make it. But I'm I reckon gonna she's me. pregnant. You're going to be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Fair enough. Clementine. Clementine? Wait, no, that was the door we just came out of, right? Clementine, yeah. you here? Hello. Clem? Got time for that. Oh, okay. I guess we're just finding her. <laughs> it, oh, it's an ensuite. Hello? Hmm. Oh, Molly. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. 
Her voice Who's actress sounds familiar. Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Okay. Um, I guess we should leave? I don't think he's gonna Molly? really want to talk to anyone. I told you, that girl isn't with me! Go ask your buddies and quit bothering me! Yeah, I don't think we should really look around at anything. He's obviously pretty set on finding Clementine. Ooh. Don't see her out there. Clementine, you up there? Shit, where could she be? Okay, wait. Let's check downstairs then. Clem, Clementine. Although I do want to check in here. Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Oh, the drawing. Clem's drawings. But where is she? Oh, that is not okay. I'll have time to rest later. Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Where's Clementine? Job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You wanna throw down again like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it I easy. did not fight you, though. Had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Ben... Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse. Why are you- Just me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Make sure sorry? she doesn't. Tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. What? On her own, with no one watching her? Are you being yeah, serious? Off my back. She's fine out there. She is not fine out there. Your ass. Do have you seen what is out there? What is he? What is he doing? Clementine. Clementine. What is he actually- No, he's getting my nerves now. What is he thinking? Doors covered in vines. <laughs> Don't think anyone came in through there. Oh, I'm, I'm getting so annoyed with him. Is she in there? I mean, he could have done a better job at covering it up, just them up. But where's, where did she go? There's a little like th thing to the side of the shed. I'm wondering if maybe that's something. It pro oh wait, yeah, wait, 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 yeah, vent. 
the hell happened back here? I think she's in there. But I can't do anything. I can't be mad at her. What is it? A boat! A working boat. Whoa. I know, right? It's just kind of like a sense of relief. <laughs> like, we found a boat. Oh, Clementine found a boat. Oh. How are we gonna get that to the coast though? What about Omid? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking <laughs> me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad? Of course there's bad news. <sighs> I think we could all use some good news. Good news is the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. No mostly, gas, oil, that's the whatever. Bad news. Gas tank's empty and her battery's gas. dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Oh, he doesn't like that. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. Well, we won't show up with him exactly then. don't welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We There's sneak be in. Some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might from... actually be a way. I know the sewer system that yeah. runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. I th I reckon no, he's still gonna die to by the end of this chapter episode. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They have They're medicine. also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I you do not get a say. I'd take a chance on doing okay. something and just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. 
I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. <laughs> I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what? <laughs> you said you need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Do we bring said her was or the not? Only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Oh no, sweetie. Clementina, I think it'd be safer for you to stay here with Omid. But what if something happens to him while you're gone? What do you mean? He's sick. If he doesn't get better and, you know, he might try to hurt That's him. also true. That's why someone else should stay as well. But not Ben. Are we actually bringing her? Can't I come with you? I'm gonna bring her. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly she might what be you a big help. Time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. <laughs> she is so cute. I just wanna. Oh gosh, I just wanna protect her and then give her a hug and make sure she's all okay. I feel so bad, but honestly. It makes more sense to bring her if something did happen to Omid. Like, I personally feel like Krista and, like, if there was another adult staying with Omid, I probably would have let her stay, but just Check Omid. what I found in the garage. Hatchet, no. hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? <laughs> What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. Mm -hmm. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Ben, oh. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose, before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the. Okay, that's good. And what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. I mean, if it's only one too many, I don't really think that's that big of a deal. Hold up, just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa! Hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decisions made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Oh... I'm so nervous. This is gonna be scary. Someone's gonna die. Someone is a hundred percent gonna die. I have no doubt about that. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We've we got stay this. Quiet. We stay hidden and we stay together. We find what we need and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Experience for her as well, you know. Gotta get all you can. I don't know why it's on keyboard and mouse controls. There we go. 
Let's go. Now go. Oh. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Huh. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. This place, it's... It didn't last as well as I thought it would. Which is... What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! That might be better though, because it, then it might be easier to get the supplies and get out. I mean, there's a lot of them. But still, also, I don't know why keyboard and mouse control is showing up, but I'm really sorry about that. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, your aunt's are scared, Clementine, a little. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Yes, because now we don't have to worry. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. Who are also fully I like agree. so long as brain we don't functioning. Let in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed. Every I will throw you out there in a minute, Ben, if you don't shut up. Any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? <laughs> or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Maybe you do, but you can be the bad feeling. <laughs> you can be what the bad feeling's about. They've boarded up all the rooms to keep the infected in. I wanna know what happened. Like, why did it get overrun? How did it get overrun? You know, they're keeping it all, all the vulnerable Just people keep out. Moving. Who slipped up? What slipped up? Where did it slip Here. up? How did it slip up? Looks okay. Everybody in. Oh, was this a school? Figures. It's a map. Looks Could we like use it? This room is some kind of command center. There might be things left then. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Here? Oh, the. Just give me a sec. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, so that means going outside of the school. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, 
Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. Okay. How do you know that? She did escape! Just makes sense, doesn't it? She did escape! I'm telling you. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. Okay. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I and then I'll probably go with Kenny. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Oh, Molly! Your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Oh wait, is Ke no sorry, Kenny's going um with uh Bree, isn't he? What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? She knows what we're doing. You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Back before you know it. Oh my god, I actually need to stretch. Okay, stretch feeling better. I've been recording for a long time, so the Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Hopscotch. He was a teacher, so this is all really familiar to him, isn't it? Creepy. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. No power, no TV. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. I don't want to start a fight with him. Not one. You know, I'm leaving Clementine. No, there is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be Look, alive. now is How not the time to, to be talking about this. this. I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. Now is not the time to be told. What are you doing? Goodness. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. He's actually annoying me now. Like, genuinely, I'm gonna punch him in the face. <laughs> oh, no, I was at her desk. That's so Looks cute. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Hmm. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. Aww. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what. He's gonna become a teacher! Set up a little classroom. 
Just you and me. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't know, Sweet Pea. But we all have to believe they will. Remember what Katja said back on the farm? She said we'll the all be farm. Oh my gosh. And now she's dead. But we're not. We're still alive. And we have to keep hope alive, too. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Just a bunch of paste. Have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. It would be so interesting just to have a game where... An apocalypse is not set in America. <laughs> it's always set in America. Give me someplace else. Give me Australia or Japan or I don't know about England. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's doing this weird thing again. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Okay, it's doing this weird thing again where... Oh wait, that's the playground. Oh. Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. Okay, I don't think it's gonna work. They've already been fired. They're worthless. Principles of Crawford. And open it without the combination. Mm. You might find a combo somewhere. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay. Children under 14 are admitted without authorization. Must be the guy who ran this place. That looks like, looks that like looks like the dude outside the fence. He's wearing similar clothes. Exit to alley. Wait, where'd Molly go? Maybe this is where we go. I'm hoping the controller will work again soon. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? <laughs> Why'd she just leave with us? What Molly, are you doing? You out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Auto shop must be down this way. Mm. What is she doing? Looters will be shot on sight. Damn. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. Is there anything in here? No, okay, well let's go where Molly went then. Herbans. This is the place I'm looking for. Wait, you can't get back there. The ha oh! How? Oh, we can we stand on it? What's here? Why isn't... Where's Molly? I don't get what Molly's up to. Oh. Okay. Molly? Is that you? Leave him! He's mine. 
Oh, she's getting revenge. Nice to see you. Molly? Molly! You can what? have. Just let her hash it out. I think you got it. One more. For luck. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Thanks. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Oh, God. Why have they not learned at this point to be quiet? That is difficult to do. So g good on him. And he's. You didn't even go for the head. Oh my god. Why did you guys not learn anything? Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. No, I reckon we're gonna have to get like the that car down. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Something you need? So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me? Or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. And Look, you didn't you even do it properly. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people <laughs> who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So Maybe yeah, she got ill. Them. And they had to kick her out, we'll and that's why she around. wants revenge. That. that seems plausible. Uh. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. I think I, uh, yeah. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. No power. Hmm. Uh. I can't reach it up there. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. It's locked. No way in. Okay. How? I need to find a way to rip it out. Can she not give me something? Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. <laughs> Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? 
I'll take good care of her. She <laughs> won't get a scratch. You literally already gave me to give her That's to me. That's your promise now. Not a scratch. I feel like she's gonna get a scratch. Oh wait, no, 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 this one. I did it. Oh. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh probably no. Probably not good. No shit. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. I'm trying to. Got that one off. It's off. Got it. Yeah, Those are pretty heavy. Here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Lee, come on. Great, now what? Skylight. Yeah, we had to do it. Do not topple over, do not topple over. <laughs> Didn't have to go into the sewer system. You could just do that. Did you ever stop complaining? Come on. And how? Come on. What are you, chicken? Jump. <sighs> what did you call me? <laughs> well, now that you mention it. <laughs> So now we're in another roof? Oh. Oh. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! <laughs> Damn it, what the hell is she doing? She's getting revenge. I don't know what the combination would be. How would you find the combination, though? Have you guys still not done it? You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Whatever, okay. I don't know the combo. That's how we get out, which, I mean, I don't want to do. Uh, where's the shell? Oh my god. Squash his head. Lee, do something! We got it. Break the door with something! Oh, the thing. I mean, that's glass. It's quite easily breakable. You got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Uh, it sounded like they were breaking in. <laughs> You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. 
We're all in this together. Oh wait, I didn't mean to, to press the option. <laughs> My bad. I wonder if she would know the combination. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. But I wanted to speak to you. Ah, oh, I'm annoyed. Why do I always do this myself? Clemson, got anything to say to me, babes? You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. Why doesn't she ever look at those books? Something to keep her occupied. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know what, her. What, you wanted she me to carry it on my head? Life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Maybe I go outside? I don't know. I can't talk to Bree anymore, though. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Is there anything about a combination on here? No. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. And if we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. something else among these lockers? No, it's the same thing. It's like the same photo. And then that's that classroom door. I don't know where the combination would be. I think it might be either in the armory or, armory or the medicine room. <gasps> Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. What the no, we can't. I can't, I can't. Do I have to take the shot? I feel like there wasn't a lot I could do. Oh God, I hate shooting with controller. <laughs> it's so like the slippery. I gotta be scared. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. Rooting and doing. Infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? I bet not. Yeah, that's oh. another problem. Take a look. Combination. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Hmm. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Busting it open okay, will probably lead. I'll take a look around. Some more walkers coming there. Would it not? To take time to rest later. Is this a copy machine? Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Not working. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. I bet that's Molly. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. 
I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Hey, Doc, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I really hope he makes uh... Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? Don't know. She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Um... Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since... That is Molly. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? I think it is anyway. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. And, and that's the dude in the medical in. suit. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh As my you know, the rules God. Are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. What? You want me to go back out there? Are you kidding? You being serious? Like actually? There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? What's oh, the baby. The it's a sonogram. Hmm. I don't think there is anything we can do in doors? here. Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Uh, already cleaned out. Looks pretty sturdy. No way we're gonna force that open. We might be able to find something to pry it open, but it'll take time. We don't have time. Omid needs that medicine. We have to get it open now. Hey, Krista. Yeah? Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? She's pregnant. It's just that you've I'm calling it. pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing pregnant. up. Pregnant. Come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omid didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omid's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with that her... That is not going to happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. You're right. I'm sorry. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. 
Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Okay. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? So I think I have to go back to the the, the dude. And I'm guessing Molly is going to be there. I don't want to shoot it open because actually, well, we could. It doesn't even look like there's anything in there, especially in the tape. It did not look like there was anything in there at all. I wonder, because we can go back up through the hole. Can we? No, we can't. It's too high. Can't reach it. It's too high up. Which means I have to go back around the long way. I don't think shooting it actually w Oh wait, no, it's this way, isn't it? I don't think shooting it would have worked. It doesn't look like the type of door that where if you shoot it, it will open. I'm guessing we're gonna find Molly with that dude though. Oh my god. That's a new one. Molly? Or should I say, Anna? <laughs> He's gone. Hello. He better have something on him. Oh, he does. Another tape. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. For the locker! The, the safe combination was only four numbers. Oh my god. Shit. Time to go. How is he- How is he gonna get back? Oh, they full on cheated that. That should not- There was no way for him to get back that way. And he couldn't even get through the this door thing. <laughs> this must have been his locker. The tape. The safe combination has got to be on one of these. Okay, so we have two tapes. I wonder if that dude died before or after. Like, I wonder if Anna found killed two more him. Tapes. One of them is dated October tenth. That's the day after the first one. He wasn't we speaking. Walked. Put it in. Oh, I'm interested. What is in this one? Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes? If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. So I guess that's how he dies. What's on the other tape then? What happened to Crawford? More importantly, we got the combination. He was the start of it. But wait. Oh. She feels for her. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch don't worry about me i'm fine i wonder if that's made her think get about those meds and get the hell out of here that child but wait there were two tapes we're in business what was on the other tape antibiotics morphine we take as much of this as we can carry okay i think we're good this is more than enough for your people and mine let's go you know i found a third tape in the locker outside maybe there's something else on there we got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> I'm curious.
What? Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to <gasps> this arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die. Oh. She'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. That was... I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can. But I have to look out for myself here. Yeah. That's the Crawford way, isn't it? Oh my god. So... She was... With the, the doctor dude, that wasn't actually Molly. That was her sister. Well, they look similar. <laughs> and so she was getting revenge on the doctor, either for the sister or for herself? I don't... Maybe for both. Oh my god. At least now we found out what happened, but what is she doing then? Oh, Jesus hi. Christ. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. Oh, you've got to be joking. I'm just kidding. Here you go. Hmm. What's that? Nothing. can quit with the Ag Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. What? Oh. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place earn their key. She was 14? No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them, but I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late, before they came and took my sister away. She didn't know she was pregnant then. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I, I got out of court. I don't care. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. What is that? Oh, Jesus! Shit. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. You sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Oh my god. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back. Oh my god, Ben! Shit! Yes, Molly. My girl. Shoot this fucker! Thanks. I didn't do anything. Good going, kid. Clementine! <gasps> My baby! I'm so proud of her! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my 
fault. All my fault. Oh my gosh. Him? We talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. Now is not the time. Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, oh man. God. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Vim, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. You're you me all along, putting all of us in danger. Oh my God. And duck. <laughs> it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? No, it's it not the time. To make deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck. Oh. You know what? Just let him have him. Let him have him. Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. I'm siding with Kenny. Focus on getting out of here. You little piss ant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dad! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skin to your ass later. But right now, we gotta go! <laughs> oh my god. Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. Fair enough. The boat's Let's not big enough for all go. of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back. We're to leaving him in here. Risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. Clementine, my That's love, you're my making vote. this so difficult for me. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. <laughs> I can't do this right now. I abstain. We've gotta go. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. Ben's fault. Again. I, I should have just let him go. I should have kept him as bait. Bree didn't deserve that. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. So all of that was basically for nothing. Oh my god. Fuck! That's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Is that a sniper or a shotgun? Oh, don't make me shoot. Go back. <gasps> Lee, 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 come on. No. Oh, you rat. Eating my stomach. <laughs> That's rude. Just go again. Who is that? Kenny? Krista, love you. Let's do some hacketing. Yeah. Slicey dicey. It's pizza time. Time. 
It's all right, Clint. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town for the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Now, well, why'd you mention the railroad? Go, go. Go, 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 go! Yeah, come on, let's go! He's gonna on, let go. There's no time. You have to go now. Fucking around, bitch. You, you could have been on. up by now. Let go, damn it. Get Clem and the others out of here. Lee. Lee, we both know. Let me go. I'm not- I don't want to make that decision. I don't want to make- Why are you making me make that decision? I don't want to make that decision. He's Clementine's friend, but... I'm sorry. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Is he still alive? Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! <gasps> uh. He's okay. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Not even any water. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. What? Why would you say that? Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't Why would he just... It. Why would you, you do that? Right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? Ben or Clementine? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, 
Do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. We're not giving Clementine away. I'll take her off your hands. No. Take her back with me to my people. I'm not doing that. Well, well no. Well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you. I, I promise you. That's what you want for her. I'm not. It? No. I'm. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I didn't. That was like the I harshest you option, you're doing but. What's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But what do you not. mean by Staying that? Staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then what? I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Can't just like. Oh. I, I, I really regret doing that to Ben now. But. Hey, going somewhere? She's like, I don't want any part out. of your group I, now. I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Could have get Ben alive. Jeez. Thanks, Molly. Could have told me that sooner. <laughs> you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. <laughs> Sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. Mm. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Damn, honey. What's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem. You have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Lying will just make her angry with us. But what were up with the people on the radio then? <sighs> Why 
Where'd she go? Oh. Why is it back on- oh, this has to be a dream. It's back on me. Clementine? Yeah, it has to be a dream. What? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. No. Where is everyone else? What the hell? What? But we just had it on our belt. How does that work? No. It Unless that was a glitch. No, it's, it's a dream. No. 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 Oh, fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? What? Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? This isn't a dream? It's a walkers. Fucker jumped me from behind. So where's Clementine? What? Clementine gone. I found her hat and her radio on the ground out here. That's all I found. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. There's something you should all know. I'm... I'm bitten. Walker jumped me while I was out here looking for her. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. I don't know how much time I've got. I'm gonna need your help to find her. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine, and in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Did they take her? <laughs> They're gone. This feels like a fever dream. <laughs> Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. 
Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy... Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. I can't believe. Actually, no, you know, no, you know what? I can't because it always happens. So, I was in the minority. I was killing the young boy. Fifty-eight percent of players were rational and honest. Fifty-five percent of people bought Clementine to us. Oh, I was in the minority. I was letting Ben fall, and then eighty-two percent showed the bite. Oh my God! Who came with you? Oh, okay. That's so interesting. That's it's so interesting seeing the different groups of people that could like come with you. Most people had Ben come with them as well. I shouldn't have let him die. Like I really shouldn't have, but I think I was just really annoyed at him and everything that he'd done. I was just really annoyed, which is why I let him I shouldn't have. I, I did really act hasty and I really should not have dropped him, but yeah. I know, I actually know a lot of people will probably be really angry at me for the choices I make in these games. I don't really know what to say about that. This is just how I'm playing it. I'm frustrated at myself for many of the choices that I've chosen. So it's not just you. Uh, I I feel the I feel the anger as well. It stems from the heart. I should I should have known. I should have known from the beginning. In fact, the thing is, I did know. This trope, the the dad always has to die. The parent always has to die. It, it's just how it goes. But considering their four seasons, I did not expect him to be dying in the first season. I don't want him to die. Is there any way to save him? I hope there is. Because I want to save him. Uh, I've grown so much to love the and all the characters. I, I don't, I don't want to leave him. I can't believe that. I don't want to believe that. That's the thing. I don't want to believe it. But I'm going to leave that there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I will see you in the next part of The Walking Dead. Okay, bye.